We're now in a new section of the AutoCAD Professional Certification Preparation course. And what we're going to look at is drawing with accuracy. We're going to look at some of the drafting tools that are provided with AutoCAD that allow us to create exact, precise drawings. Now, what we've got here at the moment is a drawing called for underscore drawing with accuracy tracking. And we're going to look at object snap tracking. Now, for this particular exercise, I'm using the completed drawing. There is a default ready to go drawing in your lynda.com exercise files as well for you to follow along with the video if you wish. But you'll always get one ready to go for you to use and a completed one so that you can see exactly what the completed version should look like. So let's have a look at what's going on here. We've got two views in our drawing. Now we're in the model space and we've got this view down here and this view down here. Now if we go to our layers panel right here, in the home tab on the ribbon, you'll see that the object layer is the current drafting layer. Make sure it stays that way, but click on the pull down list and you'll notice that the construction layer is frozen. So click on the little snowflake and that'll thaw out that particular layer. Now when you click back in the drawing area, you'll actually see now what is going on. We've got some construction lines there. And what we're going to do, we're going to utilize our object snap tracking to create the missing view up here. So go down to the status bar, make sure that your dynamic input is on, make sure here that your polar tracking is also on, make sure here that your object snap tracking is on, and make sure that your object snaps are on as well. And just make sure by clicking on the little fly out there that you've got endpoint, midpoint, intersection, and also you want quadrant switched on, this one here, which is not a default one that is normally switched on. And you'll need that to create some circles later. Now, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at creating this view above here. So just click there on the flyout arrow to lose the object snaps. Now we're going to go to the line command right here, which is on the home tab on the draw panel. And we're going to come into the drawing area. Now we need to start this particular view at a point just here. So I hover over this point here. I don't click on it. Because I've got object snap tracking on, it'll create a tracking point and I can have up to seven of those. And if I now move up and then come across here and hover over this point here on the construction lines, if I now drag across, I can start drawing from there. That's what object snap tracking is all about. Now the nice thing is I can just drag across, I can now hover over this point here, and if I come up now, it'll snap to a nice intersection there like that. And then as I come across again, I'm now going to go up to this point here, just hover on that intersection there, and as I come across again, you'll see that I can do this, but what's more important is I can hover here, and as I come up, I now get another intersection there. So I'm now drawing the plan view very quickly and easily just by hovering over these points, not clicking on them, and then just using the object snap tracking to line in and get intersections like that. And then I come down to this endpoint here, just click there, right click and enter to finish like so. So there's the first part of my plan view. Now what you can also see is there's obviously a little cutout just there and just there. And what I need to do now is obviously generate that cutout as well. Again, I go back to the line command and I hover here, I don't click, and then I use the object snap tracking to get the intersection there. I click there like so. And as I come up now, it's going to that point there on the construction lines. And then I come across again, using the object snap tracking, I'll get an intersection there. And the good thing is we know that that's just gonna go straight across. So I can just come across to that intersection there. And I'll just hit escape now, or I can right click and enter to close the line command. Now, last but not least, I need to generate a circle to show this hidden detail hole here. So I go to the circle command now, and I want center radius. So I select center radius, and the good thing is I can come off of this midpoint here because that's the center of the circle there. So I'll hover over that, and then what I'll do now is I'll come over here and hover over this construction line for the center here and drag across. Now, since I get that intersection, that's the center of the hole. Now, how do I get the actual radius of the hole? Well, if I come down here now and hover on that hidden detail line and then just drag upwards gently, as I come up, there it is there. Can you see? Comes in, just click, 
and there's my hole as well. So if I just hit escape a couple of times now just to cancel any commands, I've created that plan view without projecting a single line off of these construction lines or these views here, just by purely using object snap tracking. And that's what you need to practice for your AutoCAD professional certification exam.